Does anybody actually know how to play d and I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, but I know Astrid is gonna be the one to be like, oh, I know, I know about that game. I already see it coming. So the basic setup is you've got a dungeon master and you've got a party. Right. And so everybody has to build a character sheet. And there's so many classes to choose from, and each of those classes has different specializations. Like for example, the rogue can go into either like an assassin style archetype, or they can be an arcane trickster. So you have these dice, right? You've got a d20, you've got a d12. I'm a bard, for example, and I fucking love bards. I feel like everybody gets um, a lot of opportunity to take their character so where they a decision. Like say I'm walking into a tavern and I want to woo the bar staff, so they give me a free drink, right? D and D is the originator. It is the like. I just think it's such a wonderful way to bond with your friends. The hard thing about D&D. So I've been in multiple D&D campaigns. It's really difficult to get people to commit to a campaign. It gives me everything that I want out of a social experience. 10 year long campaign. That's the dream. And that is why I love D&D. Oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Well, I might not know everything there is to know about Dungeons and Dragons, but what I do know is how to act. And I feel like before we go into an acting challenge, we should probably get a little warmed up. It's a performance competition. Yeah. As a trained thespian, since I won my acting challenge on my season, I feel like it is my professional duty to warm everyone up. What the fuck is a thespian? Theater lesbian? I don't fucking know. Keep those plates balanced, just like that. Fierce, fun, and fresh. Good way to stay in shape. My ball gonna pop out, bitch. Yes. Okay, and this is for diction. Oh. You want to be able to understand what your partners are saying in the scene. Okay. I love big death. Astrid knows a lot about Dungeons and Dragons. Eva's Eva's really like she's trying to leave. She wants she wants to be the dungeon master so bad, and I'm just gonna give it to her. It's a hard role to play the dungeon master. A lot of pressure. I'm going to be throwing you a ball of a certain weight. So if I toss Coco a bowling ball, <laughs> exactly, you have to pretend that's hey girl, what you're uh, catching. Your ball's out. Bitch, that bowling ball was heavy. It was, that was a lot. My arms. <laughs> Genius. All right. <laughs> This is the most fun I've had all day. I think now I know the reason why theater gays are hated across the universe. Just follow, yeah, just follow what I'm doing. Out here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go for it, girl. <laughs> now that we are warmed up, it is time to rehearse. Oh, let's get to it. And scene. 